So today we're talking about the TV show Small Wonder. And if you've never heard of Small Wonder, and I'd be shocked if you hadn't, uh, Small Wonder was on the air from 1985 to 1989 for four seasons. It's a show about a small family, mother, father, and their son. The dad works as a robotics engineer, and he creates a extremely realistic robot girl, presents it to his boss, his boss doesn't like the idea, and then so the father brings it home to try and perfect it, and the girl ends up becoming part of the family. So now it's mother, father, young son Jamie, and robot daughter Vicky. Now here's the strange thing about Small Wonder. It was a huge show in the 80s. Like I feel like everybody who grew up in the 80s knows Small Wonder, but also at the same time, it's kind of forgotten and I feel like not a lot of people like it. And it's kind of weird. Like it's, it's both, you know, both sides there. Me personally, I love Small Wonder. I think it's hilarious. Uh, I loved it as a kid and I love it just as much as an adult. Um, however, if you want to talk about cheesy 80s shows with bad acting, Small Wonder is definitely top as far as that goes. Uh-oh, I don't think I'll ask Dad to play with me. I don't think I will either. However, I've always said that the actress who played Vicky the Robot was a pretty good actress, by far the best actor on that show. I think for a child who doesn't have a lot of experience to be able to you know, deliver, the, the deadpan delivery. Hello to Mr. and Mrs. Brindle. And not make any facial expressions. I mean, would you rather have a redhead? <laughs> like there's a few times where you can see that she's trying not to laugh, but for the most part, she's got that deadpan delivery, you know, trying to act like a robot. And I think she did a really good job. And then probably, uh, a close second would be the actress who played Harriet, the nosy next door neighbor. Hi, Mr. Lawson. Mm -hmm. Can Vicky come out and play? And the special effects. We gotta talk about the special effects. Would you please turn your head? <laughs> Go ahead, Vicky, do it. Small Wonder has the best special effects of any 80s TV show ever. It is this. The remote makes you nuts. It makes me nuts. But of course, we're here to talk about the filming locations for Small Wonder. And the thing is, is there's really only one filming location for this show, at least out in the real world. Just about the entire show was filmed on a soundstage, except for one very, very short scene during the opening credits and then they use that same location for an even shorter scene in the very first episode. And I had tried to track down this location uh, for quite a while. I had done a video a long time ago, um, just kind of showing different um, like TV show theme song locations and stuff. And I tried to include this location and I just could not find it. And just recently, uh, I got a message from one of my subscribers by the name of Sean of the 80s, and he sent me a link to an article about this location. The article was written by Lindsay Blake. I believe that's the same Lindsay that runs I'm Not a Stalker. Uh, if you're not familiar with her website, you should check it out. It's I'm Not a Stalker.com, and she finds a ton of filming locations. I'm not sure if she's the first person to find this location, uh, but the point is, is we have finally found the Small Wonder filming location and it's right across the street and I'm about to show it to you. So, let's go see what we can find. So this is another one of those locations that I've passed by my entire life. This street right here behind me, this is DeSoto, uh, a main street here in the valley. Right around the corner is Kaiser Hospital. That was the hospital that uh, we went to when I was a kid. So for any doctor visit or anything, that was a hospital we went to. I mean, it is literally right around the corner. I have passed right by this building on DeSoto. I couldn't even tell you how many times and then I spent a bunch of time trying to find this location, couldn't find it, 
not knowing that I've driven by it over and over again. Anyways, without further ado, here it is. La 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 She's a small wonder. This is the first shot of the opening of Small Wonder, where you get the, the name of the show. This is it right here. Of course, the sign is different. They had the sign that was just for the show. But right here, this piece of grass and the building, the hill, the trees have grown. I think there's some trees here that weren't here at the time, uh, but this is it. This is the first shot. So we see this twice in the opening credits. First you get that still shot where it says small wonder. And then a few seconds later, Ted comes out and he sits down right here on this grassy hill and he eats his lunch. Apparently Ted wasn't liked very much at United Robotronics. He has to eat by himself. And he doesn't look very happy when he sits down either. Uh, now, like I said, the sign of course has changed. It was a fake sign for the show that said United Robotronics. Um, it's now Aero Electronics. But I think this is roughly right where the sign was. Um, the building right there itself has not changed at all. Now there's a building that you can see behind this one while Ted's eating lunch. And that appears to be gone. I can't find it. I went back there and looked. So I think that building's gone. And then there's also, if you come right down here, there's another building that you can see behind Ted that's now blocked by this tree. But if we come walking right down here, you can see it right there. And they've also, they've added to the building. They put another one right behind it that looks identical, just a little bit bigger. Uh, so in the show, it was just that first building that's in front. And they used the front of this building one more time in the first episode for literally just like two seconds. There's a really quick shot of Ted walking out of those front doors and he looks angry because obviously his boss had just told him he didn't like his idea for the, you know, the robot girl. And we see him walk out of the front doors and kind of to the left right here. And the shot is actually taken from back here. And the way that you can tell is when the camera pans to the left, you can see this black post and you can see this tree which has gotten a lot bigger. And if you pan up slightly, see right there where the branch veers off to the right? But you can see that in the episode, it's just gotten taller, that's why I had to pan up. Now, this is so awesome. I just noticed that even the bricks on the ground are exactly the same. Those bricks by the front door, and then it's got the cement right in front of it, and then these bricks, and then even this lamppost, all of that can be seen when he's walking out of the building. And you know what's kind of funny? In the beginning of that first episode, when he walks out the front doors, in that first window on the left, you can see the reflection of a big blue trash receptacle. And then if you look across the street, there's one right there. Now, obviously in the show, that trash receptacle would have been over here, but this is kind of funny that back then there was one across the street and now like 40 years later, there's one across the street again. Well, that's it. Small wonder filming locations. Like I said, not a lot to see, it's just this, but to me, this is still really cool, especially the fact that it looks so similar to how it did all those years ago. So a huge thank you to Sean of the 80s for sharing this location with me. Thank you to Lindsey Blake or whoever might've been the first person to first find this location. Coming to you from United Robotronics, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I wonder how much dog poop and dog pee I'm sitting in right now.